What's up guys? Before we start today's video, we had some news drop that we just needed to talk about. We recorded this video in the past, so we're in the future, splicing it in. Future. Future. So, a couple Black Series things got announced over the weekend and we couldn't wait to talk about them. The first one being Jedi Revan from SWOTOR. Star Wars The Old Republic, not Knights of the Old Republic. Right. But I never played SWOTOR. I'm pretty sure it's from SWOTOR. That's what I looked up. But basically, it is the Jedi version of Darth Revan, where uh, instead of having black robes, he has white robes. And at least in the promotional photos, he appears to only be coming with his purple lightsaber. Which makes sense. Right. And, but with the original release of Revan, you did get the option of right. which way you wanted to go. I had personally never saw this version of Revan until uh, this announcement. Yeah, me neither. Because as far as I knew, Revan looked the same, whether he was a good guy or bad guy. But I still think this is really cool. Uh, obviously, it's just a super cheap, easy repaint. True. Uh, and it's a GameStop exclusive. Ooh! So you know it's... $24.99, I believe, uh, which is a bummer. Yeah, big bummer. And the packaging is kind of different with these new announcements. Gaming greats, yeah, and they're it, calling it. Yeah, and uh, he also has a purple background in the box. It's like a black and purple box, which is super dope. Right. Of course, we're going to open it and then put that box in storage somewhere, so it doesn't really matter, but... True. Uh, something about this figure just really speaks to me, though. It's a cheap repaint, but it looks so cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm satisfied with Darth Revan figure that we have, so this is probably lower on my excitement list. Yeah. But still looks pretty cool. Yeah. Definitely, like definitely a cool figure. Hopefully he'll be easy to find. I believe it's available for pre-order already on GameStop's Ooh. website, so go ahead and check that out. Although GameStop charges you individual shipping, so... Uh, <laughs> Might just want to try and pre-order it in store. And then the next one that is also part of the Gaming Greats series is the Heavy Battle Droid. Oh, from Star Wars Battlefront 2. Right. This is the darker paint-apt version. Yep. He's sort of like uh, uh, brown and black. Yeah, I guess. like a copper. Yeah, a coppery penny color. color. And the best part about this figure is that not only does he come with the heavy weapon for the battle droid. Right. It's also like an accessory pack. But he comes with the heavy weapon for the clone trooper. Comes with the heavy first order weapon. And the heavy original trilogy style weapon. Yeah. That first order heavy weapon has not been in any of the other like single first order releases true before that the only way you could get it was through the amazon uh first order yeah. deluxe trooper pack yeah so this alone is a great way to get that weapon and then also you could call it a cheap repaint but we've already said we'll take the repaints or the different paintings for the droids for droids but and this clones, isn't it yeah. makes sense yeah but this one specifically is at least two different colors yeah it's not like a repaint of just one solid color. True. So I think this is actually a pretty decent announcement. Yeah, and with, uh, it's twenty four ninety nine as well, and again, same thing as Revan, available for pre-order online, and I would assume in store, but at least with this one, you're getting four guns. Yeah. So the value is there, although I will say, the uh, tripod accessory for the heavy first order gun is still going to be uh, exclusive to that Amazon pack. It's not going to be included with this battle droid. Not that that's a big deal. It's the tripod that comes with it is actually too short for the trooper. So when you put it on the tripod, it's actually way too low. Is this one also at GameStop? Yes. Exclusive? This one is also GameStop exclusive. Damn. Both of the gaming greats here are unfortunately GameStop exclusive, but at least it is usually pretty easy to find them. True. You just got to pay that uh, twenty four ninety nine for them. I think the battle droid's easily worth it. Though. Right. Easily That'll probably be the it. one I pick up. 
So both of those figures look really awesome. Really super excited to get my hands on both of them. I am personally going to pick up both day one. I think that's an easy pickup for me. Right. More characters with sabers in their hands. We always talk about it. That is true. That is true. And then something that still, well, maybe by the time this video goes up will be a confirmed thing, but this is a leak and that this is the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. This, this looks super dope. Looks honestly incredible. I don't think it is the Mandalorian, but right. I just think it is a Mandalorian, right. uh, which we got to assume that at some point in the first season of The Mandalorian, we're, we are possibly going to see the Flashback. Inva yeah, the invasion of Mandalore, and maybe that's where this design comes into play. Right. He comes with a giant Gatling gun, and then he also has like a flamethrower attachment on his arm. Yep. Just looks super dope, super chunky, super big. I hope that they go in and give us like a ton of variety of like Mandalorian characters. This figure looks super dope. It's yeah. allegedly rumored to be a uh, fan channel exclusive, which is a big positive in my book. That means it's gonna be super easy to acquire. Pre-order it on Amazon, get that prime shipping. Yep, be call, good to go. Call it a day. That's what I, I love fan channel exclusives. It's the best kind of exclusive. That it is the best kind of exclusive. I'm I'm almost kind of getting sick of exclusives. True. Fan channel aside. Right, cuz at least I mean Walmart, Walgreens. I kind of just miss finding figures in regulars, going on a regular normal hunt and just finding figures. But at least Walgreens has stepped it up in recent years and at least uh, that is true. At least they stock them and they have them on but, shelves. But like Walmart is getting more attention for whatever reason. There's like more mm -hmm. Walmart exclusives mm -hmm. now. It used to be like one or two a year, but now it's just like feel like every other thing is like a Walmart exclusive. I'm like, what are we doing? And we're never going to find that Luke. The never. Luke, the carbonized jet trooper, the battlefront one. Or no, that'll be a fan channel. Yeah, the, the, the shock trooper is now fan channel. But still. Thank goodness. And of course, don't forget about Spirit Yoda. Oof. But yeah, all of these figures look absolutely amazing. What a time to be a Black Series collector. Right. We're slowly moving out of them bombarding us with the Disney Star Wars stuff, and we're getting into... Oh, well, is... okay. I mean <laughs> that as in, like, uh, Move, the, the, the movies. The episodic installments. Yes. And Rogue One, of course. Yeah, we're, we're, we're slowly moving away from that, and we're <clears> getting <throat> some more interesting characters, and they're also going back and giving us some other stuff like Jedi Revan. Hmm. which I hope after Rise of Skywalker, of course, if the movie's going to be good or bad, we obviously don't know at this point, but afterwards, you got to imagine they're going to be going back deeper into prequels, maybe some EU stuff, filling in the cracks because they're obviously not going to want to end the line mm -hmm. as soon as Rise of Skywalker is over because I, I would assume it's going to be the last Star Wars movie for at least a few years. Hmm. I so, hope. Yeah, give us a break. <laughs> give us a break, please. We thought we wanted it. Turns out we didn't. Well, actually, I probably would have been fine with just the episodic installments. But the sprinkling of the individual movies in between was what really made it feel a little bit like too much. A little too much uh, milking. milking. So those were the uh, recent figure announcement. What's What do you guys think of them? Let's talk about them in the comments down below. And now, back to the original video what's up everybody welcome back to figure it out out of the basements action figure podcast slash talk show of course i'm nate i'm joined with justin what's up guys today we are going to be going through our top five figures we'd like to see carbonized even though <laughs> we <laughs> didn't think they were worth it but here we are but we're crackheads Plastic right. crack. Well, I think I was a little more jaded against them yeah. than you. Definitely. But the more I thought about it, there are actually some figures, some way more than others on this list, that should look shiny, but they're kind of matte. True. 
And some commenters brought this up in, in that video, in the comments for that video. I forget exactly who off the top of my head, so apologies. I know you said it. Uh, and we put them on the list because it makes a whole lot of sense. Right. Um, we do have one honorable mention. And of course, if you're enjoying Figure It Out, don't forget to smash like and subscribe. All that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So let's jump right into it. Our honorable mention, IG-88. Right. Makes a lot of sense. He's a robot. He's metal. Yep. The archive release has that like different paint app mm. than the original release, and they made him a lot like brighter and kind of like more metallic right. and shiny. And I think that would translate really well. That almost is the carbonized version. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like they could amplify the rest of the right. figure because it's only really like the chest and like sort of the yeah. head area. But if you amplified like the legs and the arms and like the lower half of the figure to that awesome paint scheme, I think that would be really awesome. <laughs> but would you really go and buy another IG droid? I would because you could just fudge it and say it's another IG droid. <laughs> God. There's more than just, I, I think a lot of people don't know right. that IG-88 is a is like a manufactured droid and that there's right. more than one. Just like when people got mad at the Mandalorian because it's IG-11. I mean, people were mad at the Mandalorian when they found out it wasn't Boba Fett. Yeah, which, I mean, still, it just, I still see those comments like yesterday mm. and it still bugs me. You know what I'm saying though? Yeah. Like, again, like IG droids are like troopers. You can have multiples, you right. can have many. And they were like outlawed because they were like so like deadly and efficient yep. or whatever, so. Pretty yeah. cool. And you could even do, there's even like prequel era IG droids in the 2D Clone Wars series. Right. Yep. So you could even do a full on black one. But we're talking about carbonized releases. Right. So that's our honorable mention, IG-88, pretty safe pick. Uh, coming in at number five, and again, these are in no particular order. These are just figures that uh, we think would look good with the carbonized enhancements. Mm -hmm. uh, number five is Sabine Wren from Star Wars Rebels. Don't know much about Rebels personally, but you do. So mm -hmm. you were saying that well, she... Yeah, her shtick in the show is graffiti, mm -hmm. kind of, painting. And her look changes throughout the series. I don't... I forget how drastically... I know one season it's pretty drastic. Like mm -hmm. her paint job and then her hair also changes colors... And maybe style of hair changes throughout the series as well. But I know for sure the hair color changes. So they could even update the fit, the head to have whatever season they choose. Maybe a season four. You know, whatever. Uh, for hairstyle. I know, obviously, I wouldn't want them to carbonize the skin. But of with, course. Of course, like the helmet and the armor, it really pops because it's like purple, orange. Like very unique color yeah true scheme so i think it really pops yeah. and i think it would look good shiny and metallic as a carbonized figure definitely agree so i kind of feel weird about the rebels because it's all of their season one looks yeah but i think the definitive looks are like season two or three onward four because ezra ends up getting a green lightsaber he has like a buzz cut Kanan goes blind. He has, like, the thing over his yeah. head. I would love to get updated Rebels figures yeah. for, like, the different looks. Or even though Hasbro would never do it, like, an accessory pack or right. something. It, well, like, Zeb doesn't really change. Chopper doesn't really change. Hera doesn't really change. It's mainly Kanan, Ezra, and Sabine. But, like, that's enough and for them to want to update them. Kanan only changes in regards to, like, his head, too, right? His costume doesn't really change, I think. I mean, it might mildly. At yeah, but... at least from what I've seen. Again, I've only seen a couple episodes of season one of Rebels, and that's it. Right. So I don't really yeah. know exactly. So mostly Ezra and Sabine that change pretty drastically. Yeah. I'd love... I think it would look good carbonized. I'd love to get a green, uh, green lightsaber, lightsaber Ezra. Ezra. Yeah. Uh, coming in at number four is Jango Fett. A good figure already and is decently metallic, but mm. I would just love to have it pop like it does in the movie when his armor is like 
immaculate. It's like perfectly clean. Yeah. And super shiny, and the helmet's super shiny. Especially in the Camino scene, the yeah. rain and all that. Yeah. I think a car, like, obviously, just carbonize the silver parts of the armor. Leave mm. the, leave the under arm, like the, his jumpsuit i guess would be an appropriate title for the part underneath the armor uh leave that how it is and then just amplify those silver parts and make him look a little bit more screen accurate mm. i think that would be amazing because Django fett's a great figure one of an earlier black series figure that's still pretty damn good yeah one of the first with that nice with them nice elbows them single jointed deep yeah. cuts but that Django head Ooh. <laughs> maybe with the new carbonized one they could do the photo reel on the head yeah because i mean they do have yeah they just they need, have plenty of those yeah they just need to make the head a little bit bigger to fit under the helmet yeah um uh, so yeah Django fett i think that's easy easy choice yep. coming in at number three is commander Gree. a little bit yep. of a different choice here right. but he does have silver on his costume. Yeah, I think specifically the helmet yeah. is very metallic, silver, mm -hmm. and green. So I just think that color scheme would pop really well. True, the camo look. Given that like it genuinely is a metallic look in the film, mm -hmm. so should be a metallic look in the figure, which it is to a certain degree. Yeah, and just imagine the visor having like really nice yeah, highly like the green yeah the green could really pop off it could be like reflective like green material like that they use for like the master chief figures yeah so i would love that honestly yeah i think gree would be great and i would just buy i would buy another gree because you know whatever <laughs> yeah so uh <laughs> moving right along this is just a quick episode here yeah uh Number two, Captain Phasma. Right. Who, like, these last two are ones that just should be shiny by default. Yeah. Captain Phasma is super shiny. True. But her figure in the Black Series, at least, is pretty matte. Mm hmm There was one line. Was it SH Figure Arts or... Maybe Mayfax. Bandai Model Kit or something where it was, like, super metal. And it looked very, very good. Yeah. Like, super shiny. I, I feel almost like it must... It obviously must cost more for the paint. Right. Because Hasbro's charging more. I mean, it might even be, like, different material. And right. Like other... Like, whatever company, action figure I'm talking about. Like, it might have been, like, an aluminum or something. Yeah, because... Well, there was the Kotobukiya statue. Mm -hmm. That was pretty reflective. Pretty shiny. Yeah. But, uh... My thought was, is what I always think about when people are upset that these figures aren't super shiny. And it reminds me of like childhood, like if you ever had an Iron Man or like a War Machine figure and they were really shiny, but the paint chipped off like super easily. Mm. Obviously those that was like late 90s for me having those figures. So I'm sure the technology has developed to where the paint maybe won't scratch as much, but I feel mm. like that's probably why Hasbro didn't do it. Because that paint that's usually reflective like that isn't quite as durable. I don't know. Who knows? Who really knows, but... but... At the end of the day, Captain Phasma is super shiny and reflective. Yeah, she 110% needs to have like an awesome, super shiny, you gotta wear gloves to touch it figure. <laughs> yes. And uh, same thing with our final pick, our yeah. number one choice, and that is C-3PO. It goes hand in hand. It's a very similar looking style of shine. Mm -hmm. And I mean, C-3PO, like, um, isn't there like, you could see the crew members in some shots? It's like how Probably. reflective he is. Uh, C-3PO is super shiny. Yeah. So and... he should just get it by default as well. And not... I still think the C-3PO figure is not bad. Right. It's not. I like, still like it. It's not completely dull. It's not right. like a completely dull gold color. It has some mild reflection to mm -hmm. it, but of course, like an ultimate insanely shiny C-3PO. Like, if, if they want to call that the Empire Strikes Back 3PO, that's fine. But maybe like do a Revenge of the Sith 3PO, where he's like clean as hell. Yeah. No battle damage, and he's just, like, super new and shiny as hell. He just got that oil bath. Yeah, right. 
yeah so those were our picks for the carbonized figures super short episode of <laughs> figure it out today of course let us know what figures you guys would like to see carbonized in the comments down below don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed share it around with your friends subscribe if you're new ring that bell for notifications of course i'm nate i've been joined with justin see you guys later thank you so much for watching guys and we will see you next time on out of the basement